Greetings and salutations, my fellow Atropians. It's that time for hunting with Lore Spade. And we're be, we're gonna be talking about a very important subject matter today. It is gonna be about the asteroid update. Um, let, let me uh let, let, let me let me let me kindly fix this just a little bit. Okay, a little bit further. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. All right, so uh, the, as the two asteroids converge, right, listen, you got to kill Argonauts. Uh, really, I guess that's up on uh, Crystal Palace. Uh, two, you can hunt whatever's on Crystal Palace and get these things. Corneratrons, Desplaters, those are on New Treasure Island. So you have New Treasure Island mobs. You have uh, Crystal Palace mobs. I got a Corneratron, one of these things hitting me right now in the game uh marsimex which is i guess is in, in one of those located neomex is in, in that little cave mollusks and uh, scarabs so you got a wide variety of things um if you're like low level you're probably gonna go for the argonauts and the mollusks this event is for everyone all right listen 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 to me all right these are for the ships that fly in space. I'm pretty sure you saw it. It's like, oh, it's going to be like 10,000 PED. You might not be able to afford that. Does that mean that this event is not for you? You should just like go, go play something else or, you know, just not put your time into any of this. The answer is, come on, man. The answer is, just because you can't afford one of these big ships doesn't mean you can't make these people pay you money for gathering the materials that they need to make these ships. You get what I'm saying? There is a pecking order, and yes, there are people that make, or, or not make, but have a lot of money in real life, and they put it into this game and it's a real cash economy and you know you know that how they say oh well trickle down economics doesn't work well whenever we have to sit here and farm for their materials we get to make them pay us for all this work so this is like a community effort to build these ships and the funders the people who are actually trying to get these ships are going to end up having to pay everybody that's helping get these ships a little bit of money so that's that's what you should be aiming for you got to know your place and then find out where your opportunity lies and capitalize on that so you can actually make it a profit hopefully make a profit and uh try to stretch your dollar out and be able to play a little bit longer get your uh skills up and all this other stuff and to have fun it is a game after all yes this game costs money sometimes and sometimes you get like uh you get lucky and you get to play a little bit longer and then you put in some more money and play a little bit longer but uh, just know your your place in the whole pecking scheme of things yes you're you're probably not going to get one of these ships okay but then again once the ships are made and then people want to sell the ships after they get the ships and then there's a, a, a price established with these ships who knows you might actually come across a lot of money you want to put it into the game and you can buy the ship outright the same thing with any other asset value or any asset in this game you can you can always cough up the money and buy it like if it's a really good gun you know in the future you never know you might be in the position to where yeah i can get this you know i used to play this game back in 2009 when i first started playing this game i was making like maybe like five to six hundred dollars a month in veterans assistance my, my veterans disability that's not a lot of money so i'm sitting here putting in like fifty dollars to play on a monthly basis okay but things have changed uh, 2017 I was able to get a new computer get this game 
and, and, and do YouTube videos for this game, because I was doing YouTube videos off of my Xbox when I start first started doing YouTube, okay? We're going somewhere with this. So, then my, my luck kind of changed whenever my disability got raised, and I was I was able to get a new PC. Oh, 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 oh. Was able to get a new PC and actually start playing in Trophy again. And it was, when the realization hit me that I could play in Trophy Universe again, and this time I actually have money to play, my my the ecstasy in in my brain exploded i was like wow i'm actually gonna be able to play the game on a whole different wavelength than having 50 dollars a month and i was like all right let's do this and i was a youtuber at the time and then i really became a youtuber and i want to thank the entropia universe community for helping me even catapult me even further as being a YouTuber, because you, I, I, once I started making content for this game, is is when I actually started to really feel that yeah, this is this is what I want to do, and that that this is this is why I still make content for this game because I love you guys, and I am I am still trying to make this game bigger. And I'm so glad that I actually have an affiliate link now. Yes, just because I'm doing other content for other games, and now I get to I get to spread the Entropia Universe link, and I'm always going to try to bring them back to us. So that that's 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 my thing, because I love this game. I love this game back when I was putting fifty dollars a month in. I love this game now that I'm not going to say how much money I put into this game this summer, but you know, it was, it was a lot. It was, it was a lot, a lot, <laughs> but I'm not sad. I'm not salty. I'm not even mad about it. I'm, I'm in a position to put money into the game. Am I in the position to buy one of these starships? Uh, not quite. I put way too much money in during the summer and uh, I like, I like to skill up, but Hey, I've, I've upgraded my gear. And that's that that that's good enough for me for right now. Maybe in the future, maybe if I can learn how to hold on to money better in this game, rather than just buying deeds and shares all the time. Which I actually managed to pick up a lot more deeds and shares for this week, because I sold my old Cali Trek for like almost eight thousand PED. That's eight hundred dollars, eight hundred US dollars. I sold my old gun for like a profit of like two thousand PED probably a profit i did i did upgrade it like maybe once or twice and I, I don't i didn't really keep track of how much i spent but whatever moral of the story is i took that money and i i put it back into calypso land deeds and into uh entropia moon deeds but that's the point you can slowly build up over time like, I get it, though, if you're, like, pretty old and stuff, and you might die in, like, in the next 10 years. Yeah, it might be time to start thinking about pulling the money out. But if you're, like, if you're, like, 30, 40, 20, if you're, like, 20, you, you kids, man. There's, whatever. If you, if you guys even exist in this game, you're 20-somethings. But, uh, listen, if you're, like, 30, 40, 50, you know, have your fun. If you don't really give a crap, just keep pumping money into the game when you're like 80 years old. <laughs> and let your family figure out what to do with it later on. I mean, as, a, as like an ultimate troll to your family. No one's, they're like, he plays this one game and it's all real money. Apparently he spent like 20, 30, 40, 50 grand on this game. How do we get that money? Like... Damn it, Grandpa! Why did you do this to us? Why did you have to die without pulling your money out of Entropia? Yeah, do that to your family. That I, I'm pretty sure you'll be laughing in heaven. Or hell. I don't know. It's going to be funny. But that's beside the point. Listen, you play this game for fun. And uh, this game is a real cash economy. And sometimes, you know, you're not going to be like the top dog that gets whatever. 
but I do appreciate the fact that they're, they're, they actually made an event for ships instead of just taking the ship, throwing it up on the auction house and being like, all right guys, bid on it. They're actually making the entire community build the ships. There's like 10 ships that need to get built, apparently, or something like that. And they're making the community do it. That's genius. That means every, everyone's going to have a chance to make a little bit of something something. And uh, what? We got uh, two of the mobs on Crystal Palace. Got two of the mobs here on New Treasure Island. And the rest on Calypso. I'm pretty sure that there's like going to be some that... Uh, you know, there might be a chance that uh, on Mutation Station, if you kill the Argos there, you might actually be able to get in the, on the loot table. So you guys over on Arcadia can actually kill the Argos there. I mean, on Mutation Station, which is diabolically Dominion owned, by the way. Slump Dog is in, in our society. So, yeah, help, help out Mutation Station on Arcadia. Tell me if any of the really cool stuff drops off the Argos there. Um... Yo, uh, to be completely honest, just don't feel discouraged whenever something, an event pops up and it's like, oh, well, I can't get the big stuff because I'm, I'm not that rich. I can't do it. Your job isn't to get the big stuff, big guy. Your job is to get the small stuff and then try to make some money off that small stuff that these, these big guys are trying, that they need to actually craft some of the, the crazy, crazy stuff that they need to craft to get the thing. No, know where you stand in the world, man. A buyout on Landorium on the auction house is like 3,000%. Jesus. <laughs> Go out and get your money, boys. Like, that's all I got to say. It's, it's quite easy, simple. You know, just know, where, know where, you're, where you stand in the world, you know? Like, you don't have to be top dog to make all the big bucks, you know? Like, you do what you got to do. And just as long as you're having fun because after all this is a video game this is just a game it doesn't matter how much money you have in the game it's still a game and uh, everyone's here to here to have fun so please by all means have fun and maybe make some money in the process it, it all depends on you now what what's this we got the life support thing that's been sitting here so we got lanorium ingots basic filters standard feedback panel got standard vents and heavy duty seals so that's just one part that is one bp in the series of what's going on here yeah i'm sorry i, I, I should have covered this the moment i popped it up on the screen but this is what they're asking for basic filters it's like so basic you could be crafting these things right now but it's like a hundred but this is per click not not every click is going to be successful and it is a, 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 a rank six. Uh, it's a rank six. So yeah, you might not even be able to craft this this thing, but you can definitely craft some basic filters, maybe some standard feedback panels, some standard vents. I don't know if you're going to be able to do some heavy duty seals. That's pretty high level. But the, do do your part. Do your part. You should be all right. And of course, he's still trying to sell his AMP Mayhem BC30 modified tier four, almost tier four, tier three. It's a good gun. You should get it. But uh, just take a look. What, what is going on? What's going on right here? But listen, look right here, the Cali Trek Spirit Mark One sold for received value seven 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 thousand seven hundred and forty six. Right. Listen, I like to round things up, so like like eight hundred dollars. But Oscar Aussie along, thank you for purchasing that stuff. And somebody bought the damn chirpy statue, King Pharaoh Crimson. I, I was I was just I was I was enjoying looking at that thing, but I guess you bought it. I mean, I did put a price on it, so whatever. It is what it is. Uh, make sure you visit my shop. It's a uh, Medusa Bazaar. Medusa Bazaar. Shop one, floor two. That's right. Go go there. I'm I'm trying to build up. Like, I'm reselling this some of the sweat that I I purchased for around 1.7, some at 1.6, some at 1.8. Um, I'm trying to sell for like uh, two pad per k, so I can reinvest it into buying more sweat. So, I'm not really asking like you know 
somebody that's like, you know, whatever to buy all that sweat. But I got like a million there. So, I don't know. Like, if, if you need like a big amount of sweat really fast to go get that million or whatever. So I could like reinvest it back into the, the sweater community. And I also been crafting. Oh my God, you're going to laugh at me. I got uh, 3,267 PDs worth of welding wire. So I've been using a lot of that sweat that I've been buying. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But I also wanted to do something good for the sweat community. So I managed to uh, invite uh, Luke Webski uh, into the society. Uh, he buys everyone's sweat over there. Um, so I only got one Morpheus ingot and I've been here for how long? Well, this thing is, this thing is like 2000 or 266%. Uh, so it's like 2,000. Maybe like looking at 6 PD for one. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. But uh, I've been buying a lot of his sweat for 1.6. Yes. Some of it has gone into welding wire. And the other half is like sitting in my shop for like resale at 2 pet per K. I, I just want to like uh, try to try to have more money to buy more sweat with. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work out. You can call me slimy, a slimy reseller if you want to. But in actuality, um, it's actually being sold for less than 2 ped per K. I'm just covering the taxes. So I've lowered the prices down to where it's like 2 ped per K. And you don't have to worry about the taxes, so I'm making less. Because, I, I, yeah, it, it, it's weird how it works. It is. I'm not a filthy reseller, okay? Buying sweat at 1.6 is not a bad price. I'm trying to flip it for two to then go back and like try to buy more sweat. I, I think that's a really good deal. I don't think it's going to sell though. So it's just going to be sitting there forever. <laughs> but I guess I can. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to see exactly how much I can like acquire over time. But. Uh, to be completely fair, a million sweats like, uh, you know, like 2,000 PED at 2 pet per K. So, um, yeah, it's still a lot at 1.6, right? Because, like, it's still, like, a, a, a big pretty penny, right? Um, so it is what it, I don't know. I'm just I'm like rambling on. Ramble on! Yeah. Uh, we're doing that. Because words and stuff. I hope everybody's having a really good time. I, I, I want to get like one of these one of these dang things and just killing these things over and over here on New Treasure Island. Um, but the Seven Days to Die server is up, so if you uh, click the bell icon, uh, the rule is uh, the server's only live when I go live, so that, that that's going to be a thing. But uh, check out the whenever I go live, and if you want to play some Seven Days to Die. Uh, to help save money uh, from playing Entropia, you know, the opportunity is there. Um, and uh, I don't know why you would be watching this if you're a first time viewer and you've never heard of Entropia and you're just here for the sound of my voice. But if you want to play this game, the link is down below. <laughs> Alright, listen, this has been Hunting with Lore Spade. I'm just here. It, I, still, I still can't believe someone called me out in one of my videos. You, you know what really turns people off is when you, you talk about how much money you can put into the game and how many shares you have. Like, bro, are you new here? Like, I, this is what I've done for years. I don't know what to say. Like, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm, I'm gonna keep doing whatever I'm gonna keep doing, though, because uh, because apparently it, it works for me. And if it works for you, make sure you like the video, like, share, and subscribe, eh? and comments down below. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot this thing and get a hoff and. uh... I got I gotta go pee. Bye. <laughs>